Hey guys, welcome to Tenor Madness Talks. Simon here. Today, we have something super cool. I have something that I don't even know if it exists on the internet. A while ago, we did a Clash of the Cons video where it was a Barry versus a Barry from about 20 years apart. Well, today, we have a Clash of the Mark Sixes, but they are one serial number apart. Not only are they one serial number apart, but one is Euro assembled and one is American assembled. It gets even better though. We overhauled both of them to the exact same specs. Same tech, same pads, same resonators, same setup. Everything is identical. We've been breaking them in and here they are right here. I'm gonna grab them. Euro, American, today it's time to see which Mark VI is better or are they the same? Who knows? Clash of the Mark Sixes.
here I am, back. A little bit longer hair, a little bit shorter beard, and I actually edited the video finally. Sorry it took so long, but I got it done. I also have here some notes that I took and measurements, how they played and everything, and I just wanted to finish the video by reading this off. So first things first, I'm gonna give you a little bit of specs on each horn. All right, the American horn is serial number 144343. The Euro is 144342. Both had high F sharps in or near mint condition. They were both overhauled by the same tech here using the same size resonators, the same pads, and we soldered the bow to body connection on both like an American assembled would be. The weights, the weight of the American horn, just the body tube and bell was 3,115 grams and the European horn was 3,110 grams. The weight of each neck, the American horn was 350 grams and the European neck was 161 grams. A lot of difference there for the necks. Both octave pips had the same exact measurement. The American horn, the neck measured 51 millimeters from the ground to where the bottom of the neck ring starts if you hold it up. The European neck measured 56 millimeters from the ground to the bottom of the tip ring. The lacquers are different, obviously. You can see that while I'm playing them. And the other thing that we noticed that was significantly different was the the brass on the Euro horn seemed much harder. Um, Nolan here was the guy who got to overhaul him, and he said filing the, the tone holes on the Euro horn was much more difficult. The the metal just seemed much harder for some reason. No speculation on as to why or anything. Who knows? But the wall thicknesses on the brass were also very very similar we, we don't have a super accurate gauge to measure that otherwise it'd give you a number but they well the way we measured them they came back very similar all right last thing i want to talk about is how they played got my notes on what i thought when i played them so i'll just run through real quick and then feel free to comment below the american horn more focused freer blowing tuned sharper up high it didn't voice as easily in the altissimo and didn't quite slot as well. It was more pointed. The articulation seemed a little more legato, even if you were trying to be crisp. It was possibly perceived as thinner up high. It also seemed really quick. It was quicker than the Euro horn. The Euro horn was a little more spread, had a little more meat on the bones. It had a little bit more resistance. It tuned better up high. It was less sharp. It was easier to voice the altissimo. It just slotted really smoothly. You can hear that in the altissimo comparison clip. I mean, it just wanted to just go through that. It was drier sounding and the articulation is really defined and clear it, all the time. It just was very clear and easy to articulate. Everyone's gonna ask me what was my favorite. Well, I'll tell you. My favorite hands down was playing the Euro body with the American neck. That was just the most fun combination. Look forward to seeing you in 2020. We're gonna make a lot more of these videos, I promise. That's our New Year's resolution, and I promise I won't take six months to edit them. I'll get it down to a week, I promise. All right, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in to TM Talks.